Hi there, welcome back. This time, we will create some fly-in and fly-out animation effects in DaVinci Resolve 17. With just basic keyframing of the video transform parameters, we can easily add flying effects to video intros, transitions, or photo slideshows. In this timeline, I have a 5-second beach clip above my favorite 4-color background. First I want to add a border to the clip. DaVinci Resolve has a colored border effect ready for use in the effects library. Drag the colored border effect from the effect library to the viewer, and a white border is added to the image. Go to the effects tab in the inspector, there are some settings we can change to adjust the look of the border. Let's change the color to yellow for the demo, and leave others as is. Next I want to resize the image so that I can see my favorite background. Turn on the transform on screen overlay. Resize the clip. But the border is not resized together with the image. To get around, convert this to a compound clip first. Right click the beach clip, and choose new compound clip, we can name the clip clip with border. Go to the viewer. We can now resize the clip and the border together using the on-screen transform controls. Add a drop shadow to the clip, so that it stands out from the background. Now let's move on to the animation, first we will make the clip fly in from the top left corner. Enter the timecode 115, and press enter to move the playhead to 1 second and 15 frames, where we want the animation to finish and show the image in the middle like it is now. Go to the video tab of the inspector, mark keyframes for zoom, position, rotation, and pitch parameters. Press shift left to move the playhead back one second. Change the pitch 0.1, a new keyframe is added automatically. In the viewer, Resize the clip so that the zoom X is about 0.2 and zoom Y is 0.1. Click the keyframe button of position and rotation angle parameters to add new keyframes at the current playhead position. Move the playhead to the beginning of the clip. Go to the inspector, change the position value to add a keyframe. In the viewer, drag and move the clip to the top left corner. Right-click the keyframe control point, choose Smooth from the context menu. Drag the handle to adjust the curve. Move the clip so that the curve is through the corner. Go to the inspector and enter minus 60 in the rotation angle field, so that the clip is aligned with the path curve. Change zoom X to 0.02, zoom Y to 0.01. Turn off the on-screen overlay and play the timeline. I think this looks good. Of course you can continue adjusting the settings and keyframes to get the best result of your liking. Now we have the fly-in animation done, next we will create an animation to fly the clip out of the screen from the bottom right corner. To see the keyframes in the timeline, we can click this keyframe button at the bottom right corner of the clip. Move the playhead to the last keyframe position, press shift right twice to move forward 2 seconds, which is 3.5 seconds from the clip beginning, we will use the last 1.5 seconds for the exit animation. Go to the inspector, mark keyframes for the zoom, position, rotation and pitch parameters. Press shift right once to move forward 1 second. Change zoom x to 0.2 and y to 0.1. Mark a keyframe for the position parameter. Change the rotation angle to minus 45. Set the pitch value to 0.1. Go to the last frame of the clip. Turn on the transform on screen overlay. In the inspector, change the position value to create a new keyframe. In the viewer, drag and move the clip to the bottom right corner. Right click the control point and select Smooth. 
Drag the handle to adjust the curve. Change the rotation angle to zero. Set zoom X to 0.02 and Y to 0.01. Great, we now have completed animations of fly in from top left and fly out from bottom right. And similarly, we can create animations that fly in and out from different corners. Instead of repeating the steps from scratch, we can copy the ones we have done and modify the keyframes to achieve the effects for different corners. For example, we can duplicate the clips. Enable the keyframe track. There are a total six keyframes in this clip. We need to modify the first and last one to change flying direction. Go to the first keyframe. Drag and move to the top right corner. Somehow, if I try to use the control point handle to adjust the curve, it is not working because the clip is too small. Change the zoom X to 0.2, Y to 0.1. Change the rotation from minus 60 to 60. Now we can drag the handle to adjust the path curve. Set the zoom back 0.02 and 0.01. Go to the last keyframe, Drag and move to the bottom left corner. Again, change zoom values so that we can modify the curve. Set the zoom values back to 0.02 and 0.01. Move to the previous keyframe. Change the rotation to 45 so that it aligns with the curve. All right, we now have the animations flying in from the right top and flying out of the screen from bottom left. With the same approach, we can create other fly animation effects with ease. To reuse these animation effects in other projects, we can save them as templates into power bins. But when we try to add the clip to a power bin, we see a warning message saying that the clip cannot be placed into power bins. That's because we created a compound clip for the border. To address this issue, add a text plus title to the timeline. Enter the animation type and direction as the text. Go to the file tab, enter a name for clip, for example fly in out, top left, bottom right. Enable the background of text plus clip so it's easier to review the animation effects. Select the first clip, press Ctrl C, or right click and choose copy. Select the text clip, press Alt V, or right click and select paste attributes to open the paste attributes window. Check position, rotation angle, pitch, zoom, and plugins. I want to copy the OpenFX Drop Shadow Filter as well. Click the Apply button. And we have all the keyframes and curve controls copied over to the text title. The animations are now duplicated into the text clip. Drag the text clip to the power bin, and it's now added to the power bin successfully. If you mouse hover the thumbnail in the bin, you can preview the effect in the viewer. To reuse the templates saved in a power bin, add it to the timeline first. And press Ctrl C to make a copy. Select the clip that we want to apply the animations, press Alt V to open the paste attributes window. Check the parameters we want to copy and click apply. We now have the fly in and out animations applied to the new clip in a different timeline. To change the animation timing, click the keyframe button to show the keyframe track. Select the keyframes you want to move and drag them to the new position as needed. That's it, with simple copy and paste, the effects saved in power bins can easily be applied to clips in other timelines of the same project or different projects at later times. All right, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.